the title deed of 1910, the owner of the house is Osip Kasapyan. Mustafa Kemal rented this house from Madame Kasapyan in 1918 after returning from Syria, France. Afterwards, Mrs. Zubaydeh and his sister Makbule came to this house and Mustafa Kemal gave the third floor of the house to them. In the middle floor he worked. The big hall was used as assembly hall. In the bottom floor his assistant lived. Even though the room, looking out onto the view of the garden being at the back of the house, was thought to be used as bedroom. It wasn't used very often because there was no time to lie and no possibility to sleep. The country was occupied by the enemy occupying forces. The empire toppled. Anatolia was shared. The beautiful city Istanbul was occupied. In those days, Mustafa Kemal spent the whole night without sleeping. He often held meetings with his friends in all secrecy. Ismet Pasha, Ali Fuad Pasha, Kazim Pasha and Rauf Orbay were important participants in those meetings filled with secret. Makbule made bitter coffee helping them feel attentive at the late hours of the night spent sleepless. After his friends went an hour before dawn, his mother both massaged his shoulders and prayed. This two-story house in which he had lived until he went Samsung in May 6, 1919, is the place where the plans for independence was made in detail. The house where Mustafa Kemal Atatürk lived as a tenant during the national struggle for independence was bought by Istanbul municipality in May 28, 1928. It is opened by the name of Revolution Museum by Lutfi Kurda, the mayor and governor of Istanbul, in July 15, 1942. At the entrance of the museum, there is Atatürk's speech to the youth and the piece of his writing. On the walls of the section used as dining room, there are photographs taken both during the inauguration of the museum and from his birth till the First World War. In the official reception room and assistant room being on the same floor, there is the exhibition of assistant Mr. Rusuhi, seen one step behind Atatürk from 1923 to 1934 in photographs. There is a painting by Ibrahim Challa dated 1927 depicting Trikopis, a Greek officer giving his gun to Atatürk when taken prisoner by Turkish force. In the second floor, where there is a dining room, studying room and assembly hall, Atatürk's photographs of the Turkish national struggle for independence, the documents about his revolution, the first edition of Nutuk, his low-cut shoes for summer, his sweater, his coffee cup, his tooth mold, the items related to his writing set, his cigarette case, wooden furnished radio pickup given Atatürk as a gift by Roosevelt, President of America, and civilian clothes Mrs. Makbule, his sister, gave to the museum as a gift. A handkerchief having Mustafa Kemal armorial bearings, shirts and underclothes, a martial uniform, the clothes he wore in Sivas Congress, and a lot of items having historical value are being exhibited. The movement's plans of the big attack, Ktahya and Sakaya wars, exist on this floor too. And the third floor, where Mrs. Zubaydeh, his mother, and Makbule, his sister, lived, the photographs related to the revolution, various books written about Atatürk, the photographs related to his death, newspapers, soil in a jar brought from an Atkabir, oil paintings by artists Ibrahim Çalı and Zeki Kocamimi, in addition, watercolor paintings depicting the Turkish War of Independence by Italian Pisani, working as a journalist during the First World War, are being exhibited.
Another important note is that the archives consisting photographs of Atatürk, the number of which amounts 1,000 exists in the same floor. The exhibitions, the topics of which are about Atatürk, such as Atatürk on stamps, Atatürk with photographs, Mr. Rusuhi, medal and emblem during the period of Republic and record exhibition were arranged by Istanbul municipality and directorship of libraries and museums. The museum is still being made more meaningful, functional and lively with similar activities. The writing saying the Ghazi Mustafa Kemal Pasha planned independence of the country and this house in 1919. On the memory sign hung on the exterior front of the building with ceremony in November 4, 1925 indicates the importance of the house in Turkish national struggle for independence transformed into museum.